My moment of cultural shock was probably my first day of uh, first grade. They skipped me over kindergarten, I guess, because of my age, and I was so brilliant that they put me right into the first grade. But um, they were calling my name about four or five times, and everybody's looking around the room like, where is this guy? <laughs> and I didn't realize that that was my name that they were calling because I've never been called that before. Again, when I started this thing, I said my name is Ahmed Mustafa Mata. They came up with some Aknad or something, something that just didn't sound anything like my name. And it took me a while to realize, oh, that's me. So I raised my hand and uh, my experience as far as cultural shock, I, we were too young. We came at five years old. We didn't know any better. We spoke Portuguese with my mom at the house, Arabic with my father. And uh, English was not allowed in the house and because we were going to learn it on the, in school, on the streets or what have you. And um, yeah. That's about it, a little shorter version of my story. But. <laughs> I think the name was definitely something oh, that... Oh, no question about it. It was always that first day of school yeah. that I was always so anxious about because even though, you know, as the years go by, all my friends knew my name and they all knew how to pronounce it. But that first day of school, mm -hmm. when the teacher starts taking attendance and I know she's going to mess up my name and I'm just like cringing and waiting for her, <laughs> you know, to mispronounce it. And then, I, of course, I have to you get correct that question. her. Yeah. What do they call you? What do they call me? It's my name. It's Ahmed. <laughs>